Live from Washington, D.C., it's Cube Conversations with John Furrier. Hello, everyone. Welcome to special On the Ground. This is the Cube in Washington, D.C., checking out all the innovation at Peace Tech Labs here and the Peace Tech Accelerator here with Tanya Pinto, CAB Energy, one of the startups here. We're at the United States Institute of Peace. Accelerators in the basement, you're one of the startups. <laughs> what do you guys yes, do? Yes, exactly. Hi, uh, John, thanks for uh, interviewing me. I'm uh, from CAB Energy and we came up with um, waste to power in a box, essentially appliances that are um, made to tackle climate change, um, extract the water content, the value of water out of the waste, and um, oui, I don't remember. And turn it into energy? Ah, and actually, no, the, the other thing that I was going to say, exactly, it's, it's down that road. So, um, providing a source of energy where the infrastructure, infra can't say this word, infrastructure, can't reach. <laughs> so the, P, the uh, Peace Tech Accelerator you're part of, what's that like here? I mean, as a startup, you've got to get your idea off the ground. It's a venture for good. There's some applications for society with it. Yes. What's it like at the Accelerator? Definitely. At the Accelerator is amazing. Uh, lots of uh, great people with great ideas to help us uh, kick off. Essentially, we are actually about to launch a Kickstarter to get into India and uh, fund two of our systems going to a smart village there. And I'm pretty sure all the team that uh, is at the Peace Tech Accelerator is going to help us in that direction. As a startup here in uh, Venture for Good with the Peace Tech Accelerator, what are some of your challenges that you guys have that you're overcoming with the Accelerator and how you guys are going to take your venture to the marketplace? Well, we are a UK-based company and the US market is actually our biggest and most important market. So it's uh, super relevant in the sense that we, being immersed in the market itself in the US, um, gives us a different perspective on how we can expand to the US. So that's um, very important. What is some of the technology involved? Obviously, it's, it seems like a lot of cloud there. What are you guys using for technology and how's that helping yeah, you? Yeah, so we did all the research and development. We have our systems uh, fitted into shipping containers and um, we, we can remote monitor them and we collect all the data so we can ultimately, actually we are working with the AWS to come up with a user interface that is more attractive so that customers can actually optimize their um, energy production by playing around with how they're handling their own waste. So turning waste into energy is kind of a, taking something that you can turn into good, but also energy. What, this sounds like a great idea. Where did it come from? How did this all start? <laughs> it's actually a fun story. Um, the CEO and CTO of the, of the company are a couple. They uh, love horses. And one day they were going to move uh, a pony called Ladybird. And it was England. It was miserable, rainy, dark. And there was a pile of manure on the ground. And Sandra, the CEO, told Nick, the CTO, the inventor, how can... how?" I need to come up, you need to come up with a way of taking this manure and make a light so that I can see what I'm doing and I'm not stepping on the manure. And that's how the idea came up actually, uh, turning poop to energy. <laughs> and this is great now on a scale, it became very interesting because now the challenge around a greener planet becomes interesting if you can focus the energy of the technology. How does the technology apply to this? Can you take us through real quick on how it works? Uh, Essentially, it's a biological process, process that is behind. It's an aerobic digestion, and it's um, a thing that has uh, millions of years, and it's just giving them the right feedstock, and they will make the work for us. How about the Kickstarter you mentioned? What's the plans for funding? You guys have an accelerator. How are you going to go to the market? Explain how the Kickstarter will work, and what are some of your plans? Okay, so um, there's um, um, an idea that came out of the of UC Berkeley that's called Smart Villages um, in India. And we are one of the partners. We are doing the Kickstarter to fund the first two systems that we would like to deploy there. And um, after we're in the first two villages, our goal is to um, find local manufacturing and actually expand to all of these remote places that have no access to energy and 
um, actually also supply the water. So of seed the market with a little Kickstarter, get in, get in place, prototype it, get up and running, then find partners to exactly. scale it up. Exactly. That's exactly it. Wow, you interesting. You explain much better. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you're in it. So I'm going to ask you, uh, what have you learned in the accelerator? What has uh, have been any, any interesting observations that have come out of the work here? Um, yes, um, it's it's very interesting to be continuing practicing the the way we deliver to the customer. I think our technology is a bit complicated to explain and we tend to get too technical because it's a technology yeah. and um, being with a group from all different backgrounds actually mm -hmm. helps us clarify and deliver a, a better, cleaner message. Awesome. Tanya, thanks for spending some time with me. We are here Thank on you. the ground in Washington, D.C. It's a Cube's coverage, seeing all the innovation, disruption. Obviously, there's a this societal entrepreneurship action happening in D.C. like we've never seen before. Normally in Silicon Valley, you see it here in D.C. Nonprofits, ventures for good that are not only for good, but also for profit economies. So we're all checking it out here, all powered by the cloud and data, AI, IoT. This is exclusive Cube coverage. Thanks for watching.